Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, do you fancy another vote on the subject of Brexit? Not another one, as Brenda might... Oh, yes, not another one, as Brenda from Bristol might have said. Well, yesterday, a group of MPs, celebrities and business leaders launched a campaign calling for a public vote on the final Brexit deal between the UK and the European Union. The People's Vote aims to unite anti-Brexit groups and is at pains to say it's not calling for another referendum. So, do people want another vote? Well, that depends on how you ask the question, according to the polls. Earlier this month, when YouGov asked the public whether they should have the final say on the deal, 44% said they should, while 36% said that they should not. However, when YouGov asked a slightly different question on whether there should be a public vote on the deal, 39% said there should be, while 45% said that there should not be. Well, we're joined now by Will Dry from the movement Our Future or Choice. That's one of the groups involved. Welcome to the programme. Our, our Future, Our Choice, sorry. Oh, what did I say? Uh, all Choice, don't worry. Our Choice, but thank you for correcting me. <laughs> this is another referendum, isn't it? No, I don't think so at all. Um, I'll get right to it. I voted Leave in the first referendum. Uh, and I think that what we're seeing now is a totally different proposition to what was on the table in 2016. So, for example, I think the, cru the crucial question is, uh, when you have a vote, do you just look at the conclusion of a vote or do you accept that there are certain conditions attached to the conclusion of a vote which also have to be delivered? But that's been added retrospectively, isn't it? No, I don't think so at all. So, for example, the Leave campaign campaigned heavily on the fact that we would get more trade. But now I think it's quite clear that we're going to get less trade. The Prime Minister said so in her speech. We're going to put up barriers between ourselves and our major trading partners. The Leave campaign campaigned heavily on having a better NHS. Mm. But since the referendum, we've seen a record number of EU nurses and doctors leaving the country. And I don't see a provision in her deal for 350 million extra for the NHS. So as a lever, I mean, are you quite unique in, in the campaign group as a, a lever who is now advocating another vote? I think there is a growing movement of people who are looking at what's on the table and feeling, hang on, I did not legitimise that. I did not legitimise less money for the NHS. I did not legitimise my country being a rule taker for two years and probably longer after that. And saying that, look, it's sensible to have a people's vote on whatever the final deal is that Theresa May comes back with. Right. I mean, if people... Let's say there was a vote, uh, a vote on the terms of the, of the final deal, mm. and people vote no, we would still be in the EU as far as you're concerned, wouldn't we? Well, look, I don't want to preempt uh, what the question would be. I think that's a job for Catherine and Johnny. But, I but think... surely you have to have decided what well, that's I going think to be your campaigning be on it. I think it would be deeply irresponsible for Parliament to put no deal on the ballot paper because no deal, in my view, is planes don't fly. We have suddenly these overnight, there's huge tariffs. People lose their rights overnight. So I think it would be deeply irresponsible for no deal to be on the ballot. But, you know, this campaign is purely about giving the people a choice to decide whether or not this deal is good enough for our country's future. Which would be in or out, then? Which would be accepting the deal and going ahead with Brexit or staying within the European Union, yes, I would right. say. Right, but that, in effect, is in or out, isn't it? That is, then, another referendum on no, a, a different question, but the effect would be the same. Well, you can an analyse it whatever way you want. In my view, it's a people's vote on deciding whether or not this deal is good enough for our country's future, for our family's future, for my, generation, for my generation's future. I don't think it is. Hence, when we have this people's vote, I'm going to vote against the deal. You voted to remain, yeah. but you've accepted Brexit. Yeah. What about what Will is saying? I mean, well, there, look, were, uh, yeah. there, there was no detail about how we would leave, what would happen. So, you know, mm. do you buy what he's saying? There's a couple of things I, I, I don't accept. I, I don't accept that people don't know what they were voting for. I think you mm. can apply that almost retrospectively to any election uh, when things come out afterwards and you say, well, you know, that wasn't quite in detail. I think mm. people very clearly voted. They knew that there was going to be a difficult period. I they knew that there was... Was... OK, that's fine. And I respect that. Mm. But uh, I think they knew there was going to be a difficult period. They knew that there were going to have to be discussions and so on. I think that the meaningful vote in Parliament is important. What the Prime Minister has 
um, has said is going to happen. But that's what MPs get paid for. I don't think the country wants another vote. They certainly don't want another vote in Plymouth. Well, We're to scrutinise this deal that is coming forward. Um, and the Prime Minister has said well, that's going to happen. If I can just jump in for one second, that's actually not true. There was a recent poll which said 52% of people do want a people's vote. There was actually a newspaper article in the Plymouth Herald which said that Plymouth has changed its mind on Brexit. I think there is a deep desire in this country to ensure that Brexit is not a disaster, which a lot of people are fearing it will be. But Despite what you say, Catherine, it is true that there has not been a major shift in terms of whether people would vote in or out in another referendum. Well, well in a referendum, you don't need everybody to vote the same way, do you? Because in the end, you want some people in the middle to shift to either of the positions to give us clarity. But there hasn't been a demonstration of that but, major well, shift. Well, I think what we have to do is we have to... In Parliament, we have to do our job, but also we have to listen to young people. It's really important that we listen to young people because it's their future. And also we have to look at the economy. JLR, Jaguar Land Rover, losing a 1,000 right. jobs this We're week. We're going to have to finish it there. I know it was a big subject to end on, but, Will, thank you very much. Our future, our choice for coming in. For more